the final guitar may look slightly different, but what's different about this guitar is it's a little bit larger, a little bit bigger, a little more substantial. Um, the back button, sorry, the back button is right here, right here, so, um, which can be used for star power if you want. Uh, we still have an accelerometer in here, which we use in the music studio and, and in game for star power. Um, but if you want, you can use this for star power. We also use this button for palm muting in the uh, music studio if you want to um, play palm muted notes. Whammy's a little bit longer, to be easier to reach. Uh, fret buttons haven't changed much. We're pretty happy with their designs, so and we kept them pretty consistent. We added a touch slider here. This touch slider is um, basically uh, touch sensitive, and we use it in gameplay. There's a couple different uses. I'm going to watch Chad here, who's going to use our new guitar. She's going to play. Uh, for gameplay, you can tap it and play if you want, instead of strumming. Um, anytime there's a sustain, you can tap, 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 and then tweak the sustain and change the audio effects of the sustain, like make it play different than a whammy. A whammy just lowers the, basically lowers the pitch. You can kind of like notch out the EQ and tweak it there. Um, we also have sections that you'll see where there's clear notes, where there's like a line, like a roving line in between the notes. Those are, um, they're like tapping and they're also slide guitar sections. So it's kind of however you want to play the game. And those sections, you can just tap, not strum, not touch any fret buttons. Or you can just do this, and similar to like the old Activision game Kaboom, where you're like, you got a, you got a, a bucket and you're catching the gems. You can do that with the slide guitar. So you can like, you'll see the column of light come up, and you can like move it around. As long as you're you're there when the gems are coming down, you're catching the notes. So it's it's good for a lot of our songs with slide guitar, and some of our songs are like more um, synthesizer type sounds or like space age kind of kind of sounds. And, synth sounds, um, you can use it that way. Or you can play like you normally play. It's kind of up to you. Um, we do have some milestones in the game and some, some extra cash you can earn if you if you use the slider, similar to like whammy and all notes. But it's still up to up to the player to kind of play and kind of perform however, however they want. There'll be some benefits to different ways of playing. Um, you also see the slider in action in the music studio. And I'll just briefly touch now, you'll see it on the drum machine that I'll show you. Um, completely tweaks the drum loops that are played in real time. Um, in the lead guitar, the bass guitar, and the melody, which is like a keyboard, it's an arpeggiator. And I don't know if you know what an arpeggiator is, but it essentially plays notes at different um, intervals. So it could be eighth notes or sixteenth notes. But while you're, the, the, actually the, the key of the note is determined by what fret you're pressing. But the resolution, which is the length of the note, is determined by how you're moving on the slide guitar. So you can hold sustains and bring it back to really staccato notes and really get into it and make really interesting kind of funky, groovy patterns with the slide guitar. Um, 